The Bear County Crime Lab is critical to keeping the wheels of justice turning, but documents show the lab has amassed a backlog in testing evidence in thousands of drug cases. The News for I team's Mariah Medina got to the bottom of how this happened and the impact it's having on the justice system. Is this hemp or is it marijuana? Well, actually, this year is catnip. But after the state legislature legalized hemp in 2019, police often have to show that the drugs that they are criminally charging people for possessing are actually what police say they are. I am the crime laboratory director with the Bear County Criminal Investigation Laboratory. Orin Dim has helmed operations since 2019 and we have objective evidence that our analysts are more efficient than 90% of the other laboratories participating in this doing their jobs. His team has a pretty good reputation for efficiency, according to the American Society of Crime Lab Directors. So when the I-team obtained records showing backlogs of more than 2,500 requests from law enforcement to test for controlled substances, with an estimated turnaround time of more than four months, a stark contrast to the Texas Department of Public Safety's Austin Lab's 37 days, we started asking questions. How would you say you've performed thus far? So I think as a crime lab, we've had some pretty notable successes. Like being among the first in the state to be able to quantify the THC in a seized item, something other labs in the state can't do. But that ability? Now has made marijuana our most difficult, time-consuming analyses. And that can create a backlog, especially if an analyst makes a mistake, like what happened in 2022, according to records we obtained, putting some tests at a standstill to investigate. We're a concentration point. If we do something wrong, it's not one case was done wrong. We may have worked 10,000 cases in that discipline, and all of a sudden, Instead of, well, I can't file charges on a case, you could be throwing out 10,000 cases. So why does the backlog matter? When police arrest individuals on drug crimes or even weapons crimes where drugs are also found, prosecutors are on the clock and have 90 days to get those results in hand for felony cases and even less time for lesser offenses or risk the release of people who should be behind bars that haven't already made bail. The drug backlog, there is one. It's uh, about 2,600. Fortunately, uh, only about 26% of that are jail cases. So less than 700 cases. And of those, less than 70 cases are at or very close to the deadlines, Bear County District Attorney Joe Gonzalez says. But I think the fact that it's only 10% um, is a reflection on the fact that everybody recognizes the importance of collaborating. Everybody recognizes the importance of, of making sure that we can get these drugs tested so that we can uh, get them indicted with, within those 90 days. Dim says his office is prioritizing testing cases highlighted as high community risk by prosecutors and law enforcement, along with cases with charges carrying the greatest penalty. And Dim says he has hired additional analysts and improved communications with law enforcement as well as the Bear County District Attorney's Office to hopefully reduce unnecessary requests for testing as well as tackle their backlog. We'll continue to follow their progress. For the News 4 I team, I'm Mariah Medina. Do you have a story that you'd like the I-Team to look into? If so, you can call the News for I-Team tip line at 210-476-1070 or you can send an email to iteam at newsforsa.com.